Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Why do the inner planets have a rocky surface and our outer planet a gaseous surface? Well, so from the model of planet formation that we think, you know, is the is the right one. The gas that forms a star, all the leftover gas around it will start to clump together to form planets. Now, if you have, you know, rocky material, it will tend to, you know, fall in closer uh, to the star at a faster rate than the gas falls closer to the star. At the same time, the star is outputting a lot of energy. And this energy, like the solar wind or something, will tend to drive away the gas that is close, like, immediately next to the star. Right? So, you, you tend to find rockier planets closer to the star and gaseous planets uh, or other more gaseous planets further away. Sir, I read somewhere that the, uh, in the inner part there is the temperature is about 2000 K it was at that time and the outer part had a 50 K temperature. So what, what did yeah. that have to do with Yeah, so I think it's basically that if you have objects closer and farther away, uh, you'll have a temperature difference closer to the sun and farther away from the sun. And uh, if you have a hot surroundings, any gas found inside will evaporate, uh, leaving only the cooler material which is solidified behind. Uh, whereas farther away you can have a lot of gas. So, so Jupiter may well have a, a, a solid core within, uh, except that uh, its outer gas is so large that it is effectively a gaseous planet. Whereas all such things that uh, were there in the inner planets have just evaporated. So is that why the inner planets are smaller in size and the outer planets are a bit larger? One possible, one reason, yes. Sir, how is old is the solar system? At four and a half billion years, I mean, not too different from the age of the sun. Yeah, something like that. So when yesterday I was surfing on the internet, as today we had to come here. So then I came across a term, the sun dog. So then what is that? Yeah, frankly, I don't know much about this. Uh, it's an atmospheric effect. Uh, it's an atmospheric effect, and, and I, I really don't know much about it. I have to look it up myself. 